بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألا إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون صدق الله العظيم Turkey the year is 1929 Trabzon is the city of the Black Sea the bed of alims and a source of awliya's in the village of Micho in the township of Of In the province of Trabzon, a father's dua is accepted and a mother's dream has become reality. Ali Effendi and his wife Fatima Hanim were childless for many years when one night Fatima Hanim saw in her dream that the full moon had descended from the sky and illuminated the surrounding vicinity as it entered her stomach. After this dream, she gave birth to a radiant baby boy. Mahmoud Effendi's maturity in his childhood astonished everyone around him. The people in the village would name their children Mahmud in the hope that they too would grow up to be like him. He completed the memorization of Al-Qur'an at the age of 6 under the watchful eye of his mother and father. At a tender young age, he traveled to Qaisari in pursuit of ilm where he received lessons in Arabic and Farsi from Tasbih Shahzade Ahmad Hoja Afande, who was an esteemed alim of that region. After remaining in Qaisari for a year, he returned to his hometown of Of, where he studied qira'at from Mehmed Rushdu Ashuk Kutlu Hoja Afandi, who was the most renowned qira'at alim of that period. He acquired ilm drop by drop, working tirelessly until the early hours of the morning, sleeping only a few hours a day. This amazing youth studied the knowledge of the Sharia, ah, such as tafsir, hadith, kalam, balaghat, fiqh, and asul al-fiqh. At the age of 16, he received his ijazat with honors from the distinguished alim of Akli and Nakli, Ilm Shalakli Haji Dursun Afendi from the Sulaymaniyad Madrasa, who was his ustad and mentor in his path of ilm. Bandirma In June 1952, Mahmoud Effendi went to Bandirma, which is a small fishing town of the Marmara Sea, for his military service. It was during this time that he met his Murshid Sheikh Ali Haider Ahiskawi Al Naqshbandi Al Khalidi. Sheikh Ali Haider Effendi was a mufti who possessed ijazat to give fatwa in four madhhabs, and he was the most senior alim in the Uthmani Empire, given the title of Huzur Dars Hoja, which permitted him to give lessons in matters of Sharia in the presence of the last four sultans. When Ali Haider Effendi was at his tekke in Fatih, Istanbul, he saw his deceased Sheikh Ali Riza Bazaz Effendi, who was buried in Bandirma via Kashf, commanding him, "Come to Bandirma at once and take possession of your trust." As he was pointing to Mahmoud Effendi, who was still a soldier at the time, Ali Haider Effendi, after he had met Mahmoud Effendi, showed great interest and respect for him. The love and affection which he showed to this young man astonished those around him, and those near the Sheikh would ask, "Why do you give such value to?" A soldier that you don't even know. Ali Haider Effendi replied, "By the protection of Allah Taala, no sin has yet been recorded in His book of deeds." In 1954, he completed his military service and was appointed as Imam of Sheikh Al Islam Ismail Effendi Masjid in Fatih, Istanbul. Whilst there, Ali Haider Effendi saw the competence and potential of Mahmoud Effendi and would say, "Oh my son, why didn't you come to me ten years earlier so that I could have served you better?" Mahmoud Effendi rarely departed from his murshid and mentor and would attend Sheikh Ali Haider's majlis of sohbat, which was full of ilm, arfan, and had a manawi atmosphere. The reason for the exceptional interest which Sheikh Ali Haider showed his young student is expressed in the following words: "Let them not say after my demise that Mahmoud has not completed." Completed his Sayyid al-Suluk. I am transferring as much faiz as I can and keeping him under observation so that he does not become insane. On the 1st of August 1960, Mahmoud Effendi's Sheikh Ali Haider passed away, and a new era began in Mahmoud Effendi's life with more responsibility upon his shoulders. Hafiz Bahauddin Effendi, who was the son of Sheikh Ali Haider, heard his father say, "Whoever holds the hand of Mahmoud holds my hand. His path is my path." Mahmoud Effendi was now busier than ever. He was Imam of the Masjid, so the needs of the Jama'ah needed to be fulfilled. Students of Ilm had to be taught, and the duty of Irshad, which was placed upon him by his Sheikh, kept him very busy. His Masjid had become a Madrasa, a Tekke, and a place where Islam was spread and enacted. Many students of Ilm, Imams, and Muftis received lessons from him. He would constantly encourage people to learn Ilm, to do Amal, and to have Ikhlas. At the same time. Many government officials and politicians would come to see him and he always received respect and commendation from them and in return he would give them nasihat. He would explain Islam to every sector of society without any motive other than to please Allah.
The effort of Mahmoud Effendi in the early years was very difficult. The Muslims were forced to live under harsh political conditions and to learn Arabic was near impossible. However, despite all these obstacles, in a very short period of time, he managed to raise many male and female students of Alm and Alims in the Usul of the Sunnah. During the many bloody conflicts between the left and right political groups prior to the military coup of September 12, 1980, many people came to Mahmoud Effendi saying, Come on, let's do jihad. He would reply, Our duty is to revive people by doing amr bil ma'roof wa nahi anil munkar. Our duty is not to kill them. And he would invite the people to peace and security and try to calm them down. Sayyid Muhammad Alawi al Maliki, one of the great defenders of Ahl Sunnah and a close friend of Mahmoud Effendi, says, I have seen many jama'a around the world. Some of them have given importance to ilm and lose tasawwuf. Some have given importance to tasawwuf and neglected alm. Mahmoud Effendi and his jama'a are exceptional people who practice and revive Islam by performing a'mal with alm and tariqat with sharia in unison. A great alim like Muhammad Ali Sabuni, when he gave bay'ah to Muhammad Effendi said, This person is not just the sheikh of Turkey, but the whole world. The price paid for the sake of truth. When the radiant nur of the Sunnah Sunniyah began to shine in the ocean of heresy due to the efforts of Mahmoud Effendi, it made the would-be dark powers feel uncomfortable. These dark powers which tried to ferment and incite disorder in the community, first of all attacked and killed Mahmoud Effendi's son-in-law, Hazir Ali Muradulu Huja Effendi. Then a while later, murdered one of his most beloved students, Bayram Ali Ustork Huja Effendi. After both alims were made shaheed in the masjid, the janazah salat which was performed at the Fatih Jami' was attended by hundreds of thousands of Muslims without any unrestrained behavior or angry demonstrations. The behavior of the crowd at the janazah was peaceful and dignified and is a testament to the efforts of Mahmoud Effendi who strived and educated people to adopt an Islamic akhlaq and to avoid fights and extreme behavior. The year is 2009, Shami Sharif's the city of Alm and Arfan for centuries. In a world full of sedition and corruption, the shining star of the Islamic world and the special guest of Shami Sharif and the defender of Ahl Sunnah is Hadrat al-Sheikh Mahmoud Effendi al-Naqshabandi al-Mujaddidi al-Khalidi. The most distinguished alim, Hussam al-Din Farfour, organized the gathering in Sham in honor of Mahmoud Effendi, attended by respected alims such as Abdul Razak Halabi, Muhammad Adib al-Kallas, and Ramadan al-Buti. The meeting of the century. In October 24, 2010, approximately 400 eminent renowned alims came from 43 countries to meet in Istanbul. They presented to Mahmoud Effendi an Outstanding Service to Humanity Award. The president of the International Union of Islamic Alims, Yusuf Al Qaradawi, stated about Mahmoud Effendi at the meeting that. Rewarding alims is a beautiful act of sunnah, and this year a Muslim Turkish alim is to be rewarded. He has inculcated in those who are attached to him to have good tarbiyah such as taqwa, good akhlaq, and respect for humans and ilm which are very beautiful achievements. This Rabbani alim is the virtuous Sheikh Mahmoud Effendi al Naqshabandi. He is a Sufi and a Hanafi alim. However, he is not one of those innovators who spread superstition, bid'ah, or aberrations. On the contrary, he is firmly attached to the Kitab of Allah and the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The statements of Mufti of Lebanon Aqar, Usama al-Rifai at the award ceremony regarding Mahmoud Effendi. Acting as a principal on my own behalf, 
I speak in the name of the respected alims who have chosen me as their spokesman on commission. Upon the invitation of the Higher Islamic Education Institute of Hyderabad, India, we have assembled here to reward an honorable alim and a sublime member of the Ummah. This sublime individual has performed a magnificent act from our forefathers, combining the present day with our deeply rooted history. Instead of writing a few books, he has inscribed his words into the hearts of the people. He is a walking book himself who implements the commands of Allah upon the earth. This individual who is a light upon light has attained hidayah and leads others to hidayah as well. This sublime alim of purity and taqwa, one who protects Allah's kitab, one who has embraced the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who combines the sharia with haqiqat and one who wraps himself in the sharia and haqiqat and consumes this love with his heart as he recites day and night. Ilahi anta maqsoodi wa ridaka matloobi. He is my master in my elder Hadrat Mahmoud Afendi al Naqshabandi al Mujaddidi al Khalidi. May Allah protect and watch over him. May his blessing prevail over us. May his barakah help enrich and benefit us. Rasulullah has declared that Allah Ta'ala will send an alim at the beginning of every century to rejuvenate the deen for this ummah. I state that at the beginning of the Hijra, 15th, the 21st Gregorian century, as a result of research in keeping with the truth, that our Ustad, Hadrat Mahmoud Afendi al Naqshabandi al Mujaddidi al Khalidi, carries all the necessary qualities of reviving and rejuvenating the Ummah, that is of being a Mujaddid, which means the reviver. This individual as one who combines his words and actions, something which is essential, must be the person to rejuvenate the deen of this Ummah at the beginning of the century. Irshad Umrah. In April 2011, he performed a spectacular Umrah together with over 50,000 of his adherents and admirers. Something like this had not been witnessed for centuries. Uluda is an Akshi Tekke. In the spring of 2011, a summer residence was constructed in the cool atmosphere of Bursa Uluda, where Mahmoud Effendi is able to meet with his adherents and admirers away from the stifling heat of Istanbul. Every year, just to see his Mubarak face, tens and thousands of people flock to Uluda. Ijazat Ceremony In May 2012-2013, he came together with 60,000 of his admirers at the Ijazat ceremony, where 208 students of Ilm were given Ijazat to become a Alim. <laughs> Altından çıkamaya gelen işlerle karşılaşacaksınız. Benden yardım isteyin. Namazla ve sabırla. Ben sabredenlerle beraberim Allah. <gülüyor> ينزل ربنا تبارك وتعالى كل ليلة جلا سماء الدنيا حين يبقى في جلي آخر ويقول من يدعوني فأستجيب له ومن يسألني فأوفيه ومن يستغفر فأوفيه له ثاني أجد جاء بدن الشيء تشد في كل قرن جاء من لا تعالى تقدس هذا الكريم بإنجد سماء نزل يوروك 
His works. Mahmoud Effendi has been giving suhbat to his adherents in an organized and routine manner close to 50 years, but only the last 15 years of these suhbats have been recorded by hand by diligent Alima sisters. The end result of this effort is the publication to date of a six volume work named Suhbat Lair, and the remaining suhbats are being prepared for publication. The other precious piece of work of Mahmoud Effendi is Quran Majid the Tafsirli Me Ali Ali Si, which is the Turkish translation and explanation of Al Quran. The work has remained faithful to the Arabic words in fine detail and the appropriate explanation has been given briefly. The greatest and voluminous work of Mahmoud Effendi is the Ruh al Furqan, which is a unique tafsir of Al Quran al Karim rendered in Turkish. It is written by a committee of alims under his watchful eye. The first 10 juz has been completed and printed in 17 volumes. Mahmoud Effendi has been the inspiration for many charitable and educational organizations that give service to Islam and humanity, such as the Mujaddid Mahmoud Effendi Foundation, Ismail Agha Ilm and Hizmet Foundation, Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah Confederation, the Federation of Ma'rifat Associations, and the Ma'rifat Association. Mujaddid Mahmoud Effendi, since his memorization of Al Quran from the age of six, has never missed a salah with jama'ah or tahajjud salah. In fact, he has not even abandoned a single adab of Islam, let alone the fard and wajib actions. He does not sleep more than three hours a day, and all of his time is devoted to alm, dhikr, and tabliq. He has raised thousands of alims and tens of thousands of students and millions of adherents following the path of Ahl Sunnah. Mahmoud Effendi is known by everyone by his taqwa and his diligence in following the sunnah. In fact, he was so grieved by the words of some people who called him and his jama'ah Mahmoud Jular, followers of Mahmoud, that he climbed the mimbar and gave a khutbah which should be written in golden letters. The following are his words. They say we are Mahmoud Jular. For the love of Allah, have I invented a new deen? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam has close to 4,000 sunnah which are practiced every day. If you have seen me abandon just three of them, do not do salah behind me. Mahmoud Effendi has continued the path of hidayat and irshad, the foundation of which is tasawwuf, started by the elders of Khurasan, the ulama of Mawara al Nahir, and the mashayikh of Bukhara who settled in Anatolia, and which the Seljuk and Uthmani Empire adopted as part of their government are a magnificent representation of this effort. Hatim, with his vast and deep ilm, his perfect akhlaq, superb efforts, and with his magnificent hizmat to Islam under difficult and harsh conditions, he has been accepted as the Mujaddid of the century. Today, people from four corners of the globe come to visit him at the residence at Shawush Bashir in Istanbul, happily named Dina David Binasir, by him, which means the house of invitation to Deen, and he has made dua to Allah to make it continue forever as a place of ilm and as a center of arfan. The Mahmoud Effendi Masjid and its complex of buildings is still under construction and will give hizmat to the Ummah soon and he still continues to deal with the problems of the Ummah as he performs his duty of Irshad.